Urban school districts paying parents to drive their children to class, four-day school weeks in rural towns, long-term substitute teachers, and acting superintendents. These are just some of the ways the nation's public schools have spent $190 billion of federal relief since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, according to an analysis of federal data by Georgetown University's Edunomics Lab. Most of the nation's 14,000 public school districts have added teachers and staff while losing students since locking down their campuses in March 2020. However, with the well of relief money running dry, there are nationwide shortages of key support schooling staff. The Department of Education reported last month that 67% of public school districts responding to a survey said they must fill multiple teaching vacancies before the next school year begins. About 59% said they also must fill non-teaching roles this summer. The federal government dropped life-changing money on schools and gave them three years to spend it, resulting in a hiring frenzy, said Marguerite Rosa, an education finance expert who directs the Edunomics Lab. She went on to say, after three years of districts clamoring to hire new staff with their federal dollars, they've now made a U-turn to balance their budgets as the money dries up this summer. Here are some examples. In Florida, lawmakers have allocated more than $3 billion to increase teacher salaries since 2020. In Michigan, lawmakers appropriated more than $1 billion to address educator shortages after spending nothing in previous years. The Nevada Department of Education said in an email to the Washington Times that it had 2,958 vacancies for licensed employees in October. With teachers in short supply, some administrators have redefined qualifications. Over the past three years, most states and school districts have spent public money on alternative pathways that allow candidates without education degrees to become licensed. They say these programs have kept classroom shortages from worsening further. To learn more on how other school districts are responding to the end of pandemic federal relief, read the full article at WashingtonTimes.com.